Brussels sprouts. Really? You're changing the Sheldonian calendar? <laughs> it's a small price to pay. For what? No, no, don't ask. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. In order to live long enough to fuse my consciousness with cybernetics, I need to change my diet. Okay, wait, cybernetics is robot stuff, right? Correct. So you want to turn yourself into some sort of robot? Essentially, yes. <laughs> okay, here's my question. Didn't you already do that? <laughs> <laughs> Flattering, but sadly, no. <laughs> I'm also planning to begin an exercise regimen designed to strengthen my cardiovascular system, AKA jogging. Okay, honey, have you ever run before? Certainly. I've run from bullies, dogs, <laughs> angry chickens. And one particularly persistent PE teacher determined to bend me over and give me a scoliosis test. You're right, honey jogs, maybe you guys can run together. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> Yeah, if we chat, it will create the illusion of time going faster. No, it won't. Um, hey, how does he know I jog? Ah, oh, he watches you from his car with high-powered binoculars. Oh, my God, that is so creepy! I know! And he says he's not gonna stop. Yeah, but then see a shrink and figure out how to talk to women. Oh. What the hell? What's the matter? I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right abdomen. I'm nauseated and feverish. I believe I may have cholera. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Just like last summer when there was no malaria in Pasadena. Well, if it's not cholera, then based on a quick internet search, the other explanations in decreasing order of likelihood are Hirschsprung's disease, botulism, a 30-foot tapeworm, or accidental ingestion of chrysanthemum blossoms. When would you have accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossoms? It's part of an unlikely scenario that involves sleepwalking in a 24-hour flower mart with a less-than-vigilant proprietor. <laughs> oh, Lord, my belly! Have I had your appendix out? I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the time? Uh, let's get you to the hospital. <sighs> so this is how it ends. <laughs> With cruel irony, just as I make the commitment to preserving my body, I am betrayed by my appendix, a vestigial organ. Do you know the original purpose of the appendix, Leonard? No. I do. And yet I'm doomed while you live on. <laughs> Funny how things worked out, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I think it's about to burst. <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprouts. Good night. Good night. Appendicitis. What a nervous Nelly. The mystery that all started with a big bang. 